Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna tackle the average order value metric. How to calculate it, how to grab the data you need, and then where to put it into your dashboard. Let's take a look. All right, hi, and welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about average order value and where to find it or calculate it, okay? So you're going to want to be pulling from your e-commerce provider, and you'll see here at the bottom, where we talk about things like average order value, you'll be pulling from your, your CRM or your e-commerce provider. Um, you might actually have to do the math yourself though, depending on what type of, um, depending on the type of information that they can share. Okay, so, so all average order value is, is you know, that your, total, your sales totals divided by the number of orders that were actually completed. And so, I mean, here's an example in Google Analytics about like how it's calculated in there when you have e-commerce set up, it will calculate this for you, where you can see our average order value right here at $18.80. So it's taking all our revenue and dividing it by the transaction. See, I'll show you. All right, so 4790888 divided by 25. Four, seven, eight. Boom, there it is, 18.8. .8. So all it is, is your revenue divided by number of transactions. All right, so in your e-commerce provider, all you really need to do is just look up the number you've actually sold, so the raw number of sold, and look at the total amount. All right, and once you have that average order value for that week, just throw it into your bottom of funnel source KPI here, and let's say, you know, we found that in Google, $18.80. Actually, that was for the month. Let's do it like this, one to seven. Okay, apply. So the average order value during then was 69.70. Okay, and then we have, let's look at the next week. I'm just pulling in here because I know that this is accurate um, and it reports within about a 5% margin of infusion and I don't have to do all the calculations right there, 855. Okay, and let's let's see what 115 was just for the heck of it. So that first week is clearly there's something going on funky there, and I, that's actually when we launched the mastery course. So 5.83. So we're getting back down to what we'd expect to see as our average order values for the week. All right, and so at 69.7, this was when we did launch master the mastery course, and we were seeing you know you know over two thousand dollar purchases occurring, but we also see on a lot of $7 purchases and a lot of $1 purchases for our dollar trial, which is why it gets all the way back down to 69.7. But you're starting to see your main average over order value. But if you don't have that in e-commerce, again, just get your amount sold versus the number sold. So number sold, uh, amount sold divided by number sold, which will get your average order value. 